What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on Bonfire token. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Vibul valued up to $1850, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account, deposit $100 and choose your free stocks. That's it. So, and let's start for now with the definition. What is a Bonfire token? We are on coinmarketcap.com and uh, let me quote you two paragraphs. Bonfire is a community oriented frictionless yield generating contract based on the Binance Smart Chain. The project is based on RFI tokenomic model that takes a 5% fee on every transaction that is proportionally redistributed uh, to all holders of the Bonfire token and another 5% fee that goes into the liquidity pool to provide additional security for token holders. The project maintains the long-term goal of launching a decentralized social media platform, providing a space of NFT sales and sharing, as well as other utilities and sub-projects that are yet to be announced. The strongest asset of Bonfire is the incredible community that has been built around it. Giveaways, competitions and charity donations are an integral part of Bonfire. And let's continue with their numbers. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't have a market cap uh, and uh, this is because uh, it doesn't have a circulating supply announced uh, to this uh, uh, website and that's why we cannot uh, make this uh, calculation because we don't have a circulating supply. And uh, as you can see, total tradable volume for the last uh, 24 hours is not uh, so big, it is 1.11 uh, million dollars. And let me show you historical data. It is very important and it is very interesting. So, as you can see, we have uh, on May 28th, uh, we have a volume of $678,000. Uh, May 27th has uh, $882,000. Next, uh, $691,000. And uh, only on May 24th, we had uh, again $1 million, $1.3 million. And as you can see, we have very low volume compared to this, for example, uh, at the top of this price section, let me show it to you, right here, around May the 10th, we had the volume around uh, $50 million, uh, $76 million, $16.5 uh, million, $14 million. And uh, as you can see, it is quite huge uh, volume compared to uh, current volume. This means we don't have enough uh, buyers and enough sellers. This means uh, each relatively small transaction, no matter what type of action you want to execute, uh, if you want to buy or if you want to sell, it will drastically impact the price because we don't have enough volume. And let's continue with their official Twitter page. Uh, for now they have uh, 62.6 thousand followers and uh, since I made my previous video, uh, they added uh, about 2,000 uh, followers, not so many, especially if you realize that uh, my previous video was about 6 days ago. And uh, for the matter of uh, one week, they added no more than uh, 2,000 followers. And it is quite low compared to other meme tokens. And uh, let's uh, start with their tweets. Uh, they have a peanut tweet right here. It is an announcement of a new Bonfire token website. It will be easy to buy Bonfire. Uh, get latest updates on our upcoming projects, official bonfire blog, community, leaderboards. So, they have a uh, rather good uh, intention to change the website, but the main event that uh, was recently, it is uh, of course AMA session. And uh, it took place uh, on May uh, 24th, right here. And two main points that might be very important for this token. First of all, they declared that they are establishing a new entity it will be a company in Netherlands and uh, they will have a physical address and uh, it is quite good that uh, they will have this type of uh, physical address because uh, as you might know you cannot find um, a lot of uh, tokens a lot of cryptocurrencies that have uh, uh, the physical address and it is very good for this uh, token for the uh, future for the upcoming events for the upcoming partnerships and the second uh, main news that was uh, announced uh, on that AMA session, it is the upcoming partnership with Chainlink. And uh, what is Chainlink? 
Chainlink it is also a crypto project and uh, as you can see Chainlink's decentralized oracle network provides re reliable tamper-proof inputs and outputs for complex smart contracts on any blockchain. And this company is much, much bigger if you compare it with the bonfire. And uh, basically I didn't uh, find any uh, news about uh, this partnership on uh, Chainlink website. Uh, but uh, I think uh, if it is true, we will see it in the nearest future. But so far, without enough news, without enough positive news, we have uh, this price action. And as you can see, since uh, May the 10th, we have uh, this huge decline for about, let me show you, uh, 82% and it is massive. And before we dive deep into the technical analysis, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So I made my previous video at this point and uh, I've told you that if it will be the lowest point, we might uh, project some targets. But as you can see, we broke this line and uh, we uh, bounce back from this level. And I drew this line on my previous video a week ago. And I've told you that we have to hold this line. Right here it was a resistance and uh, here it becomes a support. And uh, as long as this is our lowest point and uh, as long as we won't break this line, I think uh, we have a possibility to go to the upside. And uh, I don't think that we can rely on these targets that I mentioned before uh, for two reasons. First of all, uh, we have new data and we have to, at least we have to adjust this tool a little bit and it's not a drastically impact uh, to the price uh, points, but nevertheless, we have uh, different prices according to this new data. On top of that, we have to hold this line and uh, we have to break all the resistances that are above our current price. And let me draw these lines. First of all, we have this uh, previous pivot point and it's quite significant. We have to break it right here. Next potential support slash resistance. For now, it is resistant because it is above our current price is right here. And next one, of course, it might be at the very top. And uh, these resistances are on quite macroscopic scale. And if we will take a look on a microscopic level, let me switch to one hour time frame. We have much more resistances and supports. So uh, right here we have uh, this line and it might be our closest closest resistance and basically it, it has a confluence zone right here and we have uh, the entire level between this line and this line as our resistance uh, zone and uh, we have to break it in order to establish new uptrend. And uh, let me remind you that uptrend defines when you see consistently higher lows with the higher highs. And so far we don't have this pattern. This means we are still in downtrend. So from this point to this point, this is our lowest point, we are consistently on downtrend. And I think the development team should act uh, more active in order to create more news, in order to make uh, some partnerships, in order to make uh, more, I don't know, announcements. Only in this case, we will see increase in volume. And this volume will indicate uh, an, an upcoming price movement. Only in this case, we will have uh, some positive news. Only in this case, we will see a price action to the upside. And for now, we don't have uh, enough information. We don't have enough steam to go to the upside. That's why, as you can see, we have this level as our major support. And for now, we are bouncing back from it. And uh, again, we are moving closer and closer to this line. And if we will break it, I think uh, it will be very bearish sign because uh, this will indicate that we break this uh, support. And as you can see on one hour time frame, we've already broken this uh, support slash resistance. This means we cannot have uh, this structure as uh, our impulsive wave structure. But on 12 hour time frame, I don't know why we have this type of discrepancies on index.guru, but on 12 hour time frame, we still uh, didn't break uh, this level. This means we might uh, consider this structure as impulsive wave. And if we will finish the fifth wave right here, we will close uh, our movement above this uh, top 
this previous stop, it will indicate that we are still on an uptrend and this will indicate that we can consider all the structure as a motive wave. And basically from the technical standpoint that's it for now. Let me show you the targets. Let's uh, set up the target uh, more conservative and uh, we have to have this uh, about 400% to our closest tar target and uh, we will hit it only in case uh, that we will have enough news, enough good news from development team, enough uh, uh, proofs for the collaborations, for the partnerships and so on and so forth. And technically it is our next major target. So with that being said, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. See you guys and girls next time. Bye.